Hi, this radio here is the X6100 Zygo. Now I got this at the rally the other week. Last week's video I did a Morse code, showed you to code the Morse code using this radio. But this radio is developing a bit of a black screen of death. It's the second time I've had it. I've only had it a couple of weeks, this radio. I don't know why I'm developing black screens of death. Maybe it's a firmware issue. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix it. If we turn the radio on, LED comes on. You'll see there we've got the Zygo X6100 on the screen. At the top here, you'll see that as me. You see, you've got flashing cursor, it just stays there and does nothing. The cursor just disappears, and all we get is a black screen. So, how do you go about fixing the radio? We need to go over on a computer, and for this to work, you will need a memory card larger than four gigs. So, we're going to use this one here. I'm going to pick it up off the desk. This is a 64 gigabyte um, micro SD card, and the radio will need to be plugged into the mains with the mains cable supplied and I'm going to be using it with my Elenco power supply so let's go and head over to the computer flash the software and see if we can get this radio up and running okay so we're on the computer and we need to head over to zegu.eu forward slash downloads and I'm going to download x one firmware update version 1.1.5 which is the 18th of the 4th 2022 it tells you what it fixes there the bug fixes and so on so once you go down just click on download now. If you wish to try earlier firmwares, such as 1.14, then you can go there and download earlier firmwares. Now we're going to be using Etcher to create our tool. And once you've downloaded it, you'll see the zip file. If you double click on the zip file, you can then drag that to your desktop. And in here, the FW update, you'll see there, we've got our file there, which is the SD card.img. So if you run Etcher, And we're going to go flash from file, click on file, and we're going to click on the update, SD card IMG, select target, and we're going to do this one here, which is my uh, 64 gig SD card. There's three heading there, I'm not going to show them. And now we're going to click on flash. Now at this point it's going to ask me for my password, it's on the hedgehog. It should start to flash the image onto, it's going to take about oh, 40 odd seconds. Now it might take longer depending on what system you're going to be using and what program you're using. But it should flash the image on to the SD card and then we can just put this card on the radio. Hopefully restore the radio. And there we go, it says flash complete. One successful target can leave a flash another. So let's go over to the radio and see if we can get the radio to boot with our flashed image. Okay, so you need the radio plugged into the mains and you'll need the SD card to place into the radio. You place it in with the pins facing towards you. Then that just goes into the SD socket. You hear it click. And all we do now is power on the radio. And you should start seeing some text come up going down the screen, some Linux uh, ter terminal commands, which we're seeing there. And this will take about a minute or so. You see there, the bar's going across. If you zoom in on that. Bar's going across there. We're flashing the firmware onto the radio. Now we'll play around with earlier bit of firmware, see if it cures the issue. Maybe we've got an issue with the latest firmware I've downloaded from. Don't know, but it says power off in zero and there we go let's eject the SD card so take the SD card out you zoom out with the camera and we'll fire up the radio again it's still connected to the mains give it some power you see X6100 on the screen flashing cursor will this make the radio boot let's find out And we've just got a black screen, it should come up. There we go. Radio has now come up. Have we got sound? There we go. We've got the radio back up and running. That's a pain in the backside to do that. But if you're going out doing a contest or something, you could take the SD card with you. And if you've got external power, you could plug it into your external power and get up and running. I want to find out why it keeps doing this because that's the second time it's happened. 
maybe I'll play around like I said earlier with earlier versions of the software see if that cures the issue so there we go the black screen fix for this Zyger X6100 I'm hoping they can sort it out with a future firmware now I'm on version 1.15 for this radio what version of firmware are you running 1.14 1.13 or 1.12 something like that and if you ever, ever experienced this problem with a black screen, post it in the old comments below. Now, I've read a few forum posts and a few people have experienced it. One bloke experienced it and it's done it once and hasn't done it since. And also, with this radio, they have downloaded a version of XCFE or XFE Linux. And it runs FT8 directly from the radio. And you can run it off the SD card. Flash it in exactly the same way as we flashed the software with this one. Run it off the SD card and turn the radio on. It runs into Linux. Once you've done uh, finished playing with the FT8 on the radio, shut it down, remove the SD card and turn the radio back on and it comes back up with the usual radio screen on the side here you've got some USB ports, you've got host, dev there you are, USB-C, I have got a USB-C adapter for that so I go USB-C adapter to USB-A and I can plug in a mouse and it works with the installed software also will work with XFE Linux, also I can use a keyboard I've also got a TV out, now, I haven't tried the XFE Linux yet so I'll be trying that in a week and see if the TV out works. Cool, let's play this on the big screen. I plugged in the USB-C and HDMI adapter and it didn't come up on the monitor at all. It recognised there was something there. We've got no display, so maybe that Linux version will let me use it as an external display. Anyhow, if you found the video some news, you know what to do. Get a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ, 7-3 for now.